everybody, it's Mrs. Barry here to do another art lesson with you guys. Today's art lesson is going to be a cereal box collage. Or honestly, it doesn't have to be cereal. It could be any kind of cardboard box that you've got, hopefully saved maybe. Or if you haven't saved any yet, then after watching this, maybe you will. But we're going to be using these, recycling our cardboard into um, any kind of collage that you like. Um, this project's actually inspired by one of our visiting artists that we had three years ago, and his name was, is Michael Albert. And I have right here a couple of his pieces. One is the flag, this is the sunflowers, and up on my wall over here, this one, I know you can't really see all the details, but it's called Woodstock, and it's got all these little cartoon characters. I'm not sure if he used a little cereal box for it. It looks like there's other images he might have gotten somewhere else. But we are going to be starting off. When you do this collage, you, you want something a little bit thicker. So what I did is I took a cereal box and I cut out the back of it. So I have my golden grams here. Then I cut out just a rectangular square. Actually, you guys can pick any shape you want. I just went with a rectangle shape. And then because I want my background to be white, I'm going to go ahead and glue some printer paper down. If you want, you can leave it just the brown paper, that's fine. Or if you have some colored construction paper and that's what you wanna use, that'd be good too. So when I'm gluing down my paper though, I like to use the glue stick. Sometimes if you use your Elmer's glue, it can be a little bumpy, it gets kind of soggy. So I like to start this off with just the glue stick. And I'll line it up. Now this is a little bit bigger than my, my cardboard, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim the extra off. And now I am ready to collage with a cereal box. Now again, what you do is completely up to you. I actually have this one. Michael Albert made this for me while he was while he was visiting us at KE and he uh, well, he gave me a piece. It was very nice of him. So if you want to do your name, though, that would be awesome. If you have a word that you want or something you want to write using the letters, that's great, too. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to start to find the boxes or pick you know, out of the boxes that you have. You're going to cut out some letters. I know this can be a little bit tricky, especially for our little people, our little guys. You might want to get some help if you're having a hard time cutting this cardboard, if you can. Um, sometimes just getting the big excess box cut away is good and then you can go ahead and it makes it easier if you have smaller pieces to cut. But go ahead and cut out your letters. And it might be that you want to just cut letters first. Some of you might already know what you're going to do. You just look for the letters that you're going to be using. Completely up to you, your method and how you pick out. There's also fun little pictures. You can use the pictures, something that interests you. My daughter, she was making one of her name and she found pancakes and I think that little Cheerio honeybee she put on there too with the honey. So for the one I'm doing, now once I got my paper ready, I'm actually gonna switch up and use the Elmer's glue. You can still use glue stick, that'd be fine, but to get it to stick and stay longer, sometimes uh, glue sticks, only hold the paper for so long. So I like to switch it up and um, use the Elmer's glue for this. So you're just gonna use your Elmer's glue and go ahead and stick it down. Now, if you want to arrange things first before you glue down, that's good too, but be careful putting too many things down and then trying to glue because ten th things tend to move around a lot. So find the letters you want, find the pictures you want, and go ahead and collage. Now I'm not going to do a whole one because I tend to find people like to copy some of my ideas so I'm just going to say hi and I hope that you enjoy doing this. I hope to see pictures of all the different collages uh, that you guys all come up with. I know you're very imaginative and I'll see a bunch of different stuff. If you don't send a picture in, that's fine too. Um, you know, not everybody has to send anything in and that's okay. But if you do, I'd love to see it. So enjoy this project. I hope you're all doing well. I miss you so much and I hope to see pictures soon. Bye-bye.